it's hard to find complete like that so it's burnishing like a uh, fire gilding so uh, this one is almost mint condition hello everybody this is war story video blog i am alex and here we are in europe and now we will see a uh, part of collection i just saw and um, some items i already bought some items i just want to show you uh, and uh, show the prices and uh, it will be like uh, proof what was in the market a few years ago uh, but i will show it to you closer next time when i will uh, film unpacking from my connecticut studio And all this World War II period military is not just propaganda things with swastikas. Um, all these items, uh, American GIs and veterans uh, prefer to brought back from uh, Europe because uh, it was like a war souvenirs and war trophies of that time. So uh, from that time in the United States, people started to collect uh, all these items because uh, American GIs uh, brought it back from Europe. So this one is uh, rare bayonets for uh, uh, Swedish army, but we can see engraving here, uh, etching with bluing and gilding. So uh, that is why this uh, one is uh, really expensive and really cool. Uh, we can see how it nicely done, but um, I already bought it, so I will show it to you uh, closer next time. Uh, here we can see two um, hunting daggers, two hunting daggers. One is the Alcoso Deluxe, big one, uh, with a hanger, and uh, this one is a deluxe version. It's a little bit shorter and bigger, and uh, look at that special type of cross guard. So it's very interesting item and uh, on a market it's probably most valuable standard deluxe hunting dagger uh, it's very interesting uh, there are one more uh, very popular deluxe dagger for hunting it's uh, uh, Carl Icahn production but Carl Icahn cost um, probably 30 percent 50 percent less than uh, Alcosa and uh, here we can see Alcosa miniature also very nicely done and uh, this one is also rare it's cheaper than big one but anyway it's uh, quite rare and uh, uh, look at this special design uh, they are uh, like a copy of each other and this one is not simple copy uh, it's consist from uh, the same amount of details uh, like a big one so this uh, pair is also very interesting and I will show you uh, it later uh, on unpacking also and uh, here we can see several badges and uh, these badges just came and um, I just want uh, to show you some of them for example uh, we can see here uh, several uh, tank badges and uh, they are numbered uh, so those two badges are in bronze and uh, we can see 75 attacks and 100 attacks and um, they are expensive it's uh, expensive uh, awards for example this one as i remember it cost more than 40000 and this one cost more than 30000 and uh, pay attention it's in uh, euro now currency exchange uh, is very cr close with uh, uh, USD, but uh, anyway, pay attention, it's uh, in Euro. 75 attack general assault badge in very uh, nice condition. We can see here gilding on the oak leaves, and this is a very good condition. And if you see here, we can see uh, the classic stamp. So this one is uh, textbook, nice one, and uh, in very good condition, but I don't know how much is that i will ask uh, here we can see second class iron cross and this iron cross is in very good conditions like a box condition uh, mint and issued and um, this one have uh, uh, l11 uh, stamp on the ring and uh, we can see ldo uh, box ldo original box and it also marked uh, l11 on the bottom so it's uh, very interesting uh, complete and uh, it's hard to find complete like that uh, with uh, iron cross in really good condition like that uh, here we can see submarine badge and uh, th this badge was uh, worn by um, Kriegsmarine 
uh, officers and uh, matrosses and uh, winter officers. And this beach in really good condition. And uh, look at the burnishing on the swastika and uh, on the submarine and uh, this uh, green of um, border of wings. So it's burnishing like a fire gilding. So it's in very good condition and it's uh, heavy metal and uh, it's really nicely done uh, item and um, I think I will buy it. It's It came on uh, uh, yellow box, yellow type box. Uh, I prefer blue boxes, uh, but anyway, um, this box came as a gift for <laughs> with this, um, with this beige, so any box is okay for it uh, in this uh, situation. Here we can see only one night cross and uh, with uh, oak leaves and swords and uh, night cross is early production and uh, uh, oak leaves with um, swords is a late production but um, anyway it looks like unissued and uh, unworn and uh, looks like um, item from the box but anyway it's in a uh, good shape and uh, it cost a lot more than 50 uh, thousand euro this complete cost uh, all because of this award is really high end here we can see 25 attacks uh, tank uh, beige and uh, this beige costs uh, not crazy price but anyway 3500 euro but this one is in very good condition so i will take some pictures of it uh, probably i will buy it later two more tank assault beige we can see here 75 attacks and uh, 100 attacks and um, we can see silver in here uh, sometimes it's uh, gone, but here we can see uh, a lot of um, silver and this uh, tank is almost white. And here also uh, condition is um, good, condition is uh, not bad because uh, most of them uh, have damages and most of badges has no any plating because uh, um, this is a zinc uh, awards, very late production, uh, that's why uh, it's really rare uh, to find in that condition, so it's like really nice. Uh, here we can see blockade runner or uh, blockade breaker uh, badge and uh, this one is almost mint condition, we can see um, burnishing like silvering. Uh, on the swastika and uh, chain links and uh, look at the eagle it's also like a frozen white so this one is uh, really really good condition probably like uh, from the box and uh, probably it unworn and unissued also uh, this one is a german cross in silver and uh, it's much more rare than german cross in gold uh, and um, this one is also in uh, really good condition few uh, probably scratches on the animal and uh, is it okay pronounced animal <laughs> but anyway and um, this one is in really uh, also good shape with uh, original patina and um, it's a uh, four uh, rivets four rivets uh, type here and it costs 47 uh, hundred euros uh, here we can see uh, pilot base but uh, it's not just a pilot it's a pilot absorber this beach uh, good uh, worn pilot who was also absorber uh, in um, one pilot um, one pilot aircraft you know what I mean like uh, Focke Wolf 190 or Messer Schmidt and this type of uh, Flugzeugführer uh, bridge is rare and uh, costs probably four times more than um, than regular one so three four times yeah and um, this one in uh, in a box in uh, good condition but it costs uh, more than four thousand uh, euros so uh, i'm looking for this badge and i will take picture of this one and probably i will uh, also buy it uh, later here on the table we can see one uh, really high-end uh, piece it's the uh, most expensive item on this table this one is a uh, honor um, sa honor dagger with uh, damascus blade with gilded um, gilded uh, motor alles for deutschland and um, here we can see late uh, production uh, logo of uh, carl icon and uh, this one is also in a really nice condition but it cost more than 55 uh, thousand euro so this one is uh, on the top because uh, this one cost uh, much more than 
other uh, stuff. And here we can see nice, um, nice leather and uh, nice cupboard with uh, with all uh, links on the chain. So this one is really nice so it was a short review of items i uh, just touched and oh and look at that uh, russian helmet i will t teeny russian helmet so i will uh, show it to you also uh, later because i already bought it and i will uh, explain you why and in the end i want to say thank you for watching this video until the end and uh, uh, i really want to know uh, what do you think about all these items and um, uh, what you want me to show you more uh, pages and um, awards or edged weapon or probably other stuff uh, I'm waiting for your opinion uh, thank you for watching until the end uh, thank you for press like and subscribe button and see you real soon